Morning everyone, welcome back to my Bite Size IG TV uh, series whereby I get to answer all the common questions that come into us on a regular basis. My name is Olive O'Sullivan, I'm a registered nurse and midwife. I have been for 39 years now and 30 of those years were hospital based and 10 of those years were in obstetric theatres. Okay, so today's topic, today's topic is sad looking brows. This um, is a topic that sort of comes in quite a bit because people arrive to us in our clinic whereby they have eyebrows that they were born with, but they actually come down too soon um, on the eyebrow shape. And they actually make even the happiest of people look sad. Um, so the bulb is fine and the body of the brow is short, but the arch starts quickly and then it actually, the tail takes over nearly half of the brow and it actually comes down uh, too soon. The, that's the first thing. And secondly is where the eyebrows are, and you were born this way, they were too low set. Eyebrows are supposed to be on the top of the orbital bone and the orbital bone is the uh, eye socket here and the bone that's in the eye. So they're supposed to sit on top of it not lower or in the socket. So how do we uh, help you in relation to that? Okay, I've already done a video in relation to how we measure your facial facial morphology um, and you can have a look on that. So there is a whole science behind designing a new brow for you. So we use as much of the existing hair as is possible in order to create a 3D effect. But in order to lift the eyebrow or the tail or the arch up higher on the forehead to give you a more normal and a happy look, um, we have to remove some of the hairs. So if we have lifted your eyebrow, well then the hairs that are down here will be removed. Um, now this is something that can alarm some people because they're so used to seeing themselves with a sad brow that next thing on of a sudden they um, can get quite a fright. Uh, so oftentimes a consultation in that instance is a great idea because we draw on the perspective brow. We use a concealer to actually conceal out the eyebrow hairs that we're actually going to remove. You can go home and speak with your family and then you can book in at a later time. When we design a brow for a person who has for years had a sad looking brow, we don't raise it too quickly at the first treatment. We take it very gradually. So at the first treatment, the step one, we bring it um, at a low level arch and then we can actually raise it even further at your step two. You will not be given that whole Botox brow lift surprised look. I promise you that this is a tattoo on your face. We certainly can't do that. So I hope that helps. All you have to do is book in for a consultation if you're anyway nervous. If you're sure you're going to rock on, just give us a call and book in for your step one and we'll get the patch test out to you uh, in the post. And um, yeah, we look forward to welcoming you here to us here in West Cork. And remember, we do all brows. We don't just do brows for cancer. So here's the details about booking. You can actually book via the book now tab here on Instagram or on Facebook, or head to our website, which is browtcork.com, or give my secretary a call on 021-419-3011. Yes, it's a Cork number, but it actually diverts to us here in Clonakilty. And we look forward to welcoming you here to West Cork. Have a great day.